This is the last healing video of 2022 that you're going to see. It's a great uh, healing video with a very humble man. Uh, but before you see it, I want to mention a couple of things. <clears throat> We've been laying low lately for the last month because we sold our car because we want to get a brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee. And so we had a Hyundai Kona and it was in great shape. And we so rather than trade it in, to get the Jeep because I don't want no debt. I wanted to sell it to get seed money to sow it to some ministers. Uh, the Lord actually put ministers on my heart for that want to get a new car. Because I asked the Lord, I said, who who wants to get a new what ministers want to get a new vehicle? Because if you want some, but if you want something, you help somebody else get it. All right. And so like so the Lord put these ministers on my heart. I got a hold of them and sure enough they're looking to get new vehicles. Amazing. So we, so we we've sown a total of five thousand dollars to ministers that want a new vehicle and in that seed money because we want a new vehicle. So we're expecting a tenfold return on harvest for what we've sown, and that's not out of this world crazy tenfold return. No way. And so we have like twenty thousand so far. We we still need another thirty thousand dollars. So we've been laying low with no car. Uh, but we're going to be renting an SUV next week because on Wednesday, January 11th, Jay Deffenbaugh, the brother who runs Blue Truck Church, Blue Truck Ministry, he is holding an outreach. Him and his wife, Lynn, I think Lynn's going to be there. I'm not positive she's going to be there, but uh, they're, they're holding an outreach at a park in Port St. Lucie, and they're going to bring a, a big tank for baptisms for anybody who wants to get baptized. And it's like a, it's like a fellowship just fellowship type thing. And Ahab and I are going to be there from 1130. We'll be there from 1130 to 130, but it goes on from 1130 to 330. It's like four hours right around there. And we, we will be here for two hours and we look forward to anybody who wants to come out. I'm going to put a link in the description box of this video to the park. It's the park is called C24 Canal Park. That's C-24 Canal Park. It's like a boat ramp type park in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And uh, so come on out next Wednesday, the 11th, and we're just going to have a good time. We'll pray for anybody that comes on out. And, and anybody that needs to get baptized, Jay will be baptizing people, and, and we're just going to have a good time. So, so we're going to rent a vehicle <laughs> in order to go do that and, and bring the new Carbo Box Church with me, I hope, uh, because it's awesome. It's a it, bigger than the one we've been using for the last two years. And so uh, God bless you. Thanks for watching. And so so check out the description box for that link and other links. Like, how long have you had that arthritis? Go like, put, put, raise his hand in the air like you're praising the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, you're my healer. Lord Jesus, you're my healer. This arthritis is not from you. This arthritis is not from you. I thank you. I thank you. Amen. Amen. Now, now go off right his name. Be gone in Jesus' name. Now move around, brother. Walk this way a little bit. Breathe. Tell me what's going on. Okay. I can feel the power of God. It's going away, right? Right. It's 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 the one but the more you the more you acknowledge it, the less it's the less there is. So say this, say thank you, Jesus, that you have healed me. Thank you, Jesus, you have healed me. I don't receive arthritis. I don't receive arthritis. I am holding you. I am holding you. And then I walk this way a little bit more. Feels better? Feels better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels better? Yeah. Is is uh is that the first time that you've experienced an immediate supernatural healing from Jesus? No. Oh, you've experienced it before. Right. That's good. When, when was the last time? It was uh, I was in my twenties and I had a terrible sore throat and swallowed and so I laid down in the bed and faced the wall. I was listening to that Christian uh, radio. Right. I fell asleep, and that this bright light came through the wall and touched my throat, and I what? haven't had it, had it since. That's the truth. I, I believe you, because I felt the power of God as you were saying that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I'll feel the power of the Holy Spirit. As you were giving that testimony, I felt it. Mm -hmm. So, so like, you were remembering it, and the Holy Spirit was remembering it also. 
you know, and, uh, and it, 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 isn't it amazing how, how you can remember all the details of a miracle healing, even if it's right. years ago. Right. But if I ask you to tell me all about the message you heard in church last week, could you repeat it back to me? Uh, I didn't go to church last week. Yeah. Well, the last time you went, if you went recently, you know, yeah. the point I'm making is that is that it's easy to remember all the details of a, of a miraculous touch from the Lord, yes. but not so easy to remember, like, messages you heard at church, you know, right. in the past. Do you understand right. that? Right. Because it's such an emotional, intimate experience to be touched by the Lord that it's marked indelibly upon you. Right. And so, and so when I said to you, we pray for people to get healed, you said yes because you already had an experience. Right. So walk this way towards the church and tell me how it feels. Yeah. Yeah, it's our church. Yeah. So how does it feel now? Feel fine. You, you know, yeah. you're walking a lot faster too yeah. than you were. Yeah. You, oh, this is called right. cardboard posture. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, a vision from heaven. I met a prophet who had a vision of cardboard and duct tape coming down from heaven. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so the whole thing, and so it's an idea from heaven that God gave it you know, to whoever would do it. You know, and so like uh, it makes the point that church doesn't have to be in a million dollar building, right? You know, right? Yeah. We're, we're having church right now, right? So right, right. yeah. So you felt the power of God today. You experienced the power of God today, and you experienced it way back when, when you were in your twenties. Yeah. That's amazing. Right. So, your your hip. How is your hip feeling right now? It's been a very good. Right. <laughs> oh you, feel, you feel light. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. brother, you have a testimony. So like. Like, the Bible says that we're all called to the reconciliation of the faith, which means we're all called to share our faith with people. So when you share your faith with people, tell them about your healing situations that when you were in your 20s. Right. And then this, right. share this with people. Right. Because people want to know that this God is a real God. They don't, right. want, they don't want to just hear blah, 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 blah. Right. They want to know this power. Right.